There is this YouTube advice that's always given out that's always caused me some trouble. It's be yourself. And I don't know if I'm alone in this, but that question is very difficult for me to wrap my head around. Like, it, it, they, it makes it sound so easy. Just be yourself. For me, I don't exactly know what that means. And maybe I'm completely alone in, in thinking that. Like, I, I don't know what how to be myself. It's just a very strange concept to me. I don't know if that's because, you know, that there is not much to me. That's a weird thing to say. But, I mean, I'm not, like, I feel like when people say be yourself, it's these people who have all this personality and, or creativity or talent, things like that. But, you know, I, I don't really have anything crazy about me like that I'm hiding. I'm not especially funny. I'm not especially anything. I'm pretty down the middle and boring. I mean, I, I don't... It's not a bad thing. I, there's just nothing that crazy that uh, I'm hiding when I do YouTube or, or anything else. At least I don't think so. Um, it's just a really weird question. But it's what I've been thinking about because it comes up at my work too. Because for work, I have to do presentations and things like that. And they always talk about, you know, letting some of your personality through. And it really helps the quality of the talks. So I've been giving that some thought. I'm like, all right, what does that mean to me? And how can I, how, how, how can I use that at work? How can I use that kind of advice to make better YouTube videos? And I haven't come up with a good answer yet. So I wanted to come on here and kind of talk about it. Talk through it a little bit. Because maybe someone has some insights in there, out there that, you know, kind of feel the same way. Or maybe a different way of thinking about it. Autopilot. I mean, I've always been a pretty... Almost shy, I mean, Minotaur, as a younger kid, Cerberus, I, I mean, Vanguard. I'm older now, I'm, I'm an, <laughs> probably to most of you, I'm older than a, a bunch of you probably, maybe not. The content I cover is usually not for younger kids, just because the nature of the games. But, you know, bullying was pretty common back when I was in school, and no one really cared as much as they do now. So I was always kind of... I, I didn't want attention, so I, you know, was quite happy to be in the background, be quiet, just go unnoticed. So, over the years, though, that kind of becomes the personality. You kind of take that on. So, I, I don't really know if there is something, like, entertaining about me that I am not expressing. So, yeah, that, that be yourself advice just always kind of gets me it gets me thinking which is a good thing but you know it's i just don't have a good answer to what if someone says all right who are you be yourself kind of uh advice it's extremely difficult it's one of the most difficult pieces of advice is advice yeah that i think i've ever heard Anyway, if you have had, if you have that same thought or not, please, you know, let me know in the comments. It'd be helpful. So what's going on the channel? We're approaching 400 subs, which is awesome. Um, this week, I'm kind of taking things light. I've been sick the last month. I've got this infection that older, like elderly people get, but now I have it for some reason. It's been quite unpleasant. But figured out what it was on medication. I've just been all sorts of tired, Auto fatigued, and you know. So this week I've been kind of taking it easy when it comes to videos. Next week, hopefully get back to uh, the regular content. 
hopefully hit 400 subs next week, which would be awesome. I gotta think of the next battle I want to do. I have to do some more mod work to to make that better for X4 stuff. I've also, you know, been playing offline. I've been playing some Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I know that game has some bad uh, uh, press around it right now because of the microtransactions and stuff. But and I had a UPlay Plus subscription, so I really didn't lose anything by downloading it and playing it. It's all right, you know. It's not. It's definitely not great. It's definitely not what it should be for the single player game. Like, there's no AI teammates, which I thought was standard. And I would have been really disappointed if I had spent 60 bucks on that to find out that there was no AI teammates. But it's fun for now. I'm also playing Elder Scrolls Online a bit. I used to play that a lot. And there's a new expansion out. And there are a bunch of stuff going on. And I haven't played an MMO in a while, so I kind of jumped back into that for a bit. We'll see how long that lasts. It's a fun game. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online is the, uh, you know, my favorite MMO at, at this point. Star Wars The Old Republic used to be, but I haven't played that in a couple of years. I think I'm still subscribed, though. I don't know how to access my account anymore. I should probably figure that out. Other than that, I mean, that's kind of what's going on here. I've been watching this whole Blizzard China thing. It's pretty entertaining and sad at the same time. It, it's just amazing that uh, the stance Blizzard's taken and they don't seem to be reversing course. It should tell you a lot about what they think Success about this market. Are. But, you know, we'll see how it turns out. Forward. You know, things tend to go out of the news cycle pretty quickly. The NBA in China is a bigger deal. But, again, that's probably going to cycle out of the news uh, in a little bit. But it's been refreshing to see something different than the normal stuff you see on TV. All right, that's going to about do it for this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in the videos coming up. Have a great day.